When it comes to aviation, America and its rivals have often pushed the limits. Some planes were so complex, so overbuilt, that they became more legend than legacy. Here are the 10 most over-engineered airplanes in history. Let's start with Howard Hughes' monstrous brainchild, the H-4 Hercules, better known as the Spruce Goose. Built almost entirely from wood due to wartime material shortages, this behemoth had a wingspan longer than a football field. Eight massive radial engines powered it. And yet, it only flew once for less than a minute. Hughes swore it wasn't a failure, and in fairness, it did fly. But was it practical? Not a chance. It was over-engineered in nearly every way, but boy, it sure looked good doing it. At number two, XB-70 Valkyrie, a supersonic bomber that could hit Mach 3 and fly higher than enemy missiles could reach. It had six engines, folding wingtips, and enough heat-resistant titanium to make your toaster jealous. The idea was brilliant on paper. Strike fast, strike high. But by the time it flew, surface-to-air missiles had caught up. Only two were built. One was destroyed in a tragic mid-air collision. The other is parked in a museum, a ghost of what might have been. At number three, B-36 Peacemaker. With six pusher prop engines and four jet engines, the B-36 Peacemaker was the Frankenstein's monster of the Cold War. It could carry a nuclear payload across continents without refueling, and looked like it was built by someone who had no concept of too much. Maintenance crews nicknamed it Six Turning, for burning. It was so big it cast a shadow on entire airfields. The technology worked, but its complexity made it a nightmare to operate. At number four, Concorde. The Concorde was a commercial miracle and an economic disaster. It cruised at over 1,300 miles per hour and cut travel time across the Atlantic in half. But the sonic boom made it illegal to fly over land at supersonic speeds. And each flight cost a small fortune in fuel. Despite its glamour, the Concorde was over-engineered for a world that didn't really need it. Beautiful, yes. Practical? Not quite. At number five, Avro Aero. From Canada came one of the boldest jets never to reach its potential, the Avro Aero. This Mach 2 interceptor had cutting-edge radar, fly-by-wire controls, and stunning performance. Too advanced for its time, too expensive for its country, and politically doomed, the project was scrapped and most of the planes destroyed. It remains a what if in aviation history, a plane that did everything right, except survive. Please hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying this video. It really helps the channel. At number six, F-111 Aardvark. Designed as a do-it-all solution for the Air Force and Navy, the F-111 Aardvark had swing wings, terrain-following radar, and a crew escape capsule. It was an engineer's playground and a logistician's nightmare. While it eventually proved effective, the early versions were riddled with problems. Trying to meet everyone's needs made it one of the most complex aircraft of its era. At number seven, Sukhoi Su-47 Berkut. Here's one from the Russian side of the ledger, the Su-47 Berkut. It had forward-swept wings, a design so unstable that it practically needed a PhD to fly. It was a test bed for advanced avionics and agility. But the design was so expensive and technically demanding, it never went into production. A flying lab with wings that looked backwards and thinking that was decades ahead. At number eight, Boeing 747 Dreamlifter. You've seen the 747, but have you seen its oversized cousin, the Dreamlifter? Built solely to transport parts of the 787 Dreamliner, it's like strapping a hangar to a jumbo jet. There was no cargo like it in history. But designing an aircraft just to carry airplane parts? That's over-engineering on an industrial scale. Still, it did the job. And it looks like something out of a cartoon. At number nine, Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit. The B-2 Spirit is America's stealth bomber capable of slipping through enemy radar like a shadow. But the technology under that flying wing? Off the charts, radar absorbent coating that had to be painted on by hand. Maintenance that cost millions per flight hour. And software that took entire teams to maintain. It works, but keeping it in the air is a feat as impressive as its missions. And finally, at number 10, Dornier DOX. 
Back in 1929, the Germans built something wild. The Dornier DOX. With 12 engines mounted on its wing, it was the largest flying boat of its time. Luxury seating, dining rooms, and a full crew of 14. It even needed a flight engineer just to manage the throttles. But it was slow, inefficient, and couldn't handle modern winds. A marvel in the air and a lesson in too much too soon. 